Yeah, just great goaltending. Just uh, you know, they've got Carolyn Harvey could be the best player in the country. Uh, just a sophomore on defense, and they, who uh, unfortunately got hurt against us and then missed missed a number of games. But I think for everybody, uh, every college hockey fan to see her back, it, it's that's it, a positive, and certainly for the Badgers, it's a positive. And she showed her, her value last weekend, getting that overtime game winner, and then scores again on sat on Saturday or Sunday. I'm sorry. Um, and then just uh, again three 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 four lines. I don't know if they they have some injuries. They, they didn't see a whole lot of their fourth line, um, but all really really talented. Uh, some, some, you know, like Sims is not leading the country in scoring. She's really really close. And then uh, Hall's right behind. Uh, Curl's right behind her. I'm sorry, O'Brien and Hall or Curl are right behind. So again, just a really really talented team, deep and and uh, Mark's teams are always very very tough defensively. They, they, they play a lot of structure. So Again, another challenge for us. Long weekend, but what are some of the positive takeaways you got from this past weekend? <laughs> uh, you know, the trip itself was really good. Uh, everything, everything about the trip, uh, the games themselves were. You know, first of all, all credit to Ohio State; they were outstanding. They were, uh, I think, Amber said they're at another level the way they're playing. Um, we didn't play as well as, as we had been playing on Friday, which was was. Uh, Kind of disappointing, but at the same time, they, they had a lot to do with it. Uh, but you know, we, again, we just we just kept battling all the way through it, regardless of the score. Uh, came out Saturday, I thought we we you know, we started off the, doing the things we needed to do, but again, they're they're just they're so relentless. And uh, you know, but again, we just you know we got an opportunity to get Abby some game time. She hadn't played in a while. Um, scored a power play goal, which was really. Which was big, and our actually our penalty kill did a really nice job. We had to kill off a uh, we had a, a five minute major called on us, and so we had to. But then there was a penalty in there that was four on four. But all in all, our penalty kill did a really good job. So just you know, special teams from that standpoint was good. Were there any players in particular you thought were doing well, and you're kind of excited to see if you can do that this weekend? Yeah, well, I, I, again, I thought Shelby Braylon's line with Kayla and and and. and uh, Alyssa Watkins had a really solid weekend for us. You know, obviously Kayla scored the goal, uh, the power play goal, but that line was on the ice. And since we put them together, we've kind of used them on the power play. And they, I thought they had a really good showing uh, the weekend before uh, on the power play. They didn't, didn't capitalize, but, you know, again, Saturday, Friday and Saturday uh, looked pretty good and they wound up scoring. So, um, but, you know, just from the other line standpoints, I think we're, we're going to at least try some new things today in practice just to see how it looks and, uh, you know, we, we're still playing with just five defensemen, which is it creates a bit of a challenge, but it gives all of our fours an opportunity to play. So we're, we're going we're gonna to continue to address, uh, you know, 14 fours. And, and we got everybody in the lineup uh, uh, last weekend. And, and, you know, every time Shelby Sandberg goes in, she just she's like a energizer bunny. She brings a lot of energy and, and, and you know, keeps playing well. So, uh, you know, from that standpoint, it's, it's good to see those, those small victories for sure. Can you ever remember, Coach, a season where you faced a number one one weekend and the second weekend you're facing a number two um, like this season? You know what happens every year, it seems like. Uh, it's WCHA. Um, that's the WCHA. It, it's, you know, one year we had one, two, three, and four uh, last year. Uh, you know, it was Ohio State, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Duluth were one through four in the, in the nation. Um and uh, I mean, it's just it's just the way the schedule lines up. Everybody's got to do it. Um, you know, we've said before, it's it's not only what makes this league uh, so challenging, but also you know, it, it, it's fun for the players. I mean, they they look forward to playing these teams. And um, again, having having just played Ohio State, there's some similarities in terms of how they how they play, the skill level being really you know really really uh, really tight. So you know, just having seen it last weekend, it's it's not going to be as Jarring, you know, when, when we see it this weekend. But you know, having said that, it's it, it, it can be it can be it can be a grind for sure. But like you said, that's the, that's the league.